welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a kitting up. So I'm going to be kitting up the two diamond paintings today. This is the first one here. This is the original image. And this is from DIY Choose. It I got it as a product review, but it's $7.89 on their site. It's about a 25 by 35 with 22 colors. And these are square drills that have poured glue. Unfortunately, there is no DMCs. So yeah, but I want, I want to do a couple, I, I want to do, I want to kit up some more squares because I have like two, I think, no, one, two. I might have just one square. No, I have two squares kitted up only. And I just wanted more squares kitted up for when I feel like doing a square. And then this is the second one. So both of these, I don't, yeah, the the kit, the unboxing has not been shown yet. Um, and so this one is a bigger one. This is actually from, does it say? Oh, this is from mindfulnessdiamondpainting.co.uk. Um, so it's this um, flower here. I'm hoping it'll turn out. It looks kind of pixelated on this, this um, on the canvas, but here is the original image here. This is Rose by Non Non Cran. It's it is a licensed image um, from Mindfulness Diamond Painting. It cost me thirty two dollars and ninety two cents. Um, it was originally in pounds, so it was I think twenty two ninety nine in pounds. So um, this was how much um, PayPal charged me. I think um, it's a forty five by sixty with 35 colors and there are square drills and this is poured glue with DMC numbers. And um, so yeah, I figured you might not see the unboxing of this until I finish it, but <laughs> I figured I want some squares kitted up in case, you know, I need some squares. You know, I didn't measure this. This is actually a 45 by 60, that's 45. Yeah, 45 by 60, just making sure. So I'm gonna move these off to the side or on the floor for me since it is bigger. I think I'm gonna do the bigger one first. I actually have not done inventory, so I don't know if they're here because I seriously just unboxed these. Um, and I figure instead of putting them away, let's, let's kick them up. So um, I'm gonna be using these are the Harbor Freight containers, but I put them into this container here that ordinarily holds 60 of the bottles, but I took out the bottles and I found you could fit one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, 36 of the Harbor Freights. And these, this one has 35 colors, I said. So, um, which is, yeah, that's, this is the DMC here. So I'm gonna, it did come with an inventory sheet, so, I like it when diamond paintings come with inventory sheets. Um, I don't need them to come with the labels, but the inventory sheet is nice. So it does look like this thing is already just in numerical and alphabetical order. So I wouldn't even need to, to, um, put these in any sort of order other than what it came with. My recycling bin was like really far away. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Xyron sticker maker, which I don't get to use that often. So it's always exciting when I get to use it. Um, so just going to slowly I'm just kind of keeping my hand in there so it doesn't veer off to the edge because I've seen these veer off to the edge. There you go. The one bad thing about this Xyron sticker maker, I feel like I waste a lot. Like look at, look at all this excess at the bottom there and excess at the top, but you know, I I bought this last year and I still haven't run out of my first label thing, mainly because I don't think that many diamond paintings come with the labels anymore. So 
put that in my trash. So I'm just going to cut this out and make the labels. So you, you try to keep some of the edge of the paper, this paper here, so you know, it doesn't become several pieces. This is actually printed really big. So I was actually thinking of using the Tic Tac containers for this, but I wasn't sure if it would fit. Um, one, I, this is a 45 by 60. So I wasn't sure if the normal, my normal like 32 Tic Tac container thing would fit that many drills. Um, it probably would have, but then I was also thinking these would be too big to fit on top of the small Tic Tac containers. So I was like, ah, I just don't want, I don't want the hassle of trying to fit them onto the small Tic Tac containers. Cause I wouldn't have been able to, I would have had to use some small ones because just because. So I was like, I think I have this one. I had, I had this one set up at some point thinking if I ever needed something that had 36 colors that I think was relatively big, I would use this. And this is, well, this is big for me. It's a 45 by 60. That's pretty much the size that will fit in my art portfolio, my 18 by 24 inch art portfolio. Um, and that's, it's pretty much almost as big as I want to go, mainly just so that I could fit it on the art portfolio. I do have a couple big ones, but I have noticed that I do, <laughs> I do run out of motivation to do the big ones. Um, so, so I think I'm going to just, I'm, I think I've resigned myself to be just a smaller sized picture diamond painter. As much as I want to do the big ones, and I thought I thought I would do the big ones, like I, I, you know, when you start diamond painting, you start small, or at least I did. I started small. Um, although my third diamond painting was a forty by fifty, um, but you do start small and then think, oh, I'm gonna go bigger, and then you do the big one, and then you just you just don't enjoy it as much because it just takes too long. Because apparently, I need. I need instant gratification because that's apparently how I like doing my diamond paintings where I'm just done with it right away. So it is much easier to label with these bigger labels. It's easier to see. I do like that these in, are in alphabetical order already. I have not done a diamond painting from a mindfulness diamond painting, so I'm hoping it'll turn out um, nice and I'm hoping that there's not much gapping, but I don't know because I haven't done one before. But when I do a new diamond painting company, I always try to, <laughs> at least the, the licensed diamond painting companies. So I, did, I didn't do inventory, so these are not in order. Oh man, I was hoping that they would have the the number, I don't know, 334383. So they're not in order. So I might. These are the size of the, the baggies that I use for my spare storage. So yay. They did kind of use the cheap bags. Usually when you diamond, the, the, the drills come in the baggies, they use the more expensive, or not the more expensive, but the thicker bags than usual, just because maybe they don't want it to burst during, I wonder, are these removable? No. Um, burst during. So um, you may have noticed that I posted this, well, I'm planning to, I'm posting this on Monday. Um, and I don't normally post the kidding ups on Mondays. They're usually on Friday. But the reason I posted this on Monday is I'm, I'm recording this like on Sunday. So, um, so Monday or today for you guys is my, I guess, one year YouTube anniversary. One year ago, I posted my very first YouTube video. Um, <laughs> 
and don't go watch it, but um, I posted my very first YouTube video on October 4, 2020, and it's a year later, and my first video, of course, was a kidding up video, so I thought it would be appropriate to do another kidding up video on the one year anniversary of my um, my, well, you know, my, on YouTube, it says that I created the, they started the channel October 2, and that is true. That's when I made the, the, um, I guess I signed up for YouTube. Um, but my first video was not uploaded until um, October 4. So that's what I consider my real anniversary is the first upload date. So... Wow, there's actually a lot of static on this. Um, so yeah, it's my one year YouTube anniversary. Who knew? Wow, there's so much static on this that it just kind of flew when I just moved the drills. The, like, look at that, look at all that static. Um, but, but what was I saying? Yeah, it's my one year YouTube anniversary. Um, who knew I would be doing this one year later? Um, I actually thought, yeah, I, I had no idea I'd still be doing this. And I think in the whole scope of things, I've done relatively well um, in the whole YouTube, my YouTube journey. So thank you guys. I would probably not be still doing this if, if I wasn't getting such awesome viewers who who encourage me through the likes, comments, views, subscriptions. So thank you guys. Um, well, I think I was gonna, I was thinking maybe I should show you, let's see, for funsies. Um, so since I started, I'm just opening my, my YouTube. So, so since I have started, um, I have, 287,974 views. I think this is um, one day delayed. So this is up to, I guess, October 2. I'm recording this on October 3. So I have 287,974 views. So that's, if you see how um, low of a view count I was getting in the very, very beginning, um, that's when I was like, should I still do this channel? Um, and compared to now where I'm a little bit at the higher amount of views. Um, well, thank you guys. I wouldn't have gotten to that many views without your support. And then I figured what other. And. Oh, I, here, this was another metric that I thought was interesting. So. This one is my returning viewers metric. So the blue at the bottom is the new viewers. I had some weird day where YouTube like um, recommended my video and I had, it was weird. That video got like 3000 views in such a short period of time. I was like, what is different? So I think that's what this spike is. It's like YouTube recommended one of my videos, but this purple here is anyone who's a returning viewer. So. Thank you guys. I'm very happy that my main viewership is our returning viewers. So that means that you watched one chat, one video and came back for more. So I'm glad that you're enjoying my channel enough to keep watching. Um, so thank you very much. But yeah, nope, today YouTube anniversary. So I thought do a kidding up video because that was my first video it was a kidding up video. Um, I think I called it kit and chat. I was trying to be cute, but no one was watching. <laughs> you know, when you first put your first video on, um, you barely get any views. So then you think, oh man, what am I doing wrong? But it's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's just that you're so new. YouTube is not recommending you. Um, and then you don't have that many videos, so you don't get that many views. It's it's just like a slippery slope. So the only thing you need to do is just keep going. I mean, I think I have 250 maybe videos up now. So 
<laughs> yes, a lot of videos. So, yeah, YouTube is a grind. So if you are starting out or you don't have that many um, views yet or subscribers, it YouTube is a grind. It takes a while. It took me, I think, like four months, almost four months to just get to 100 subscriber. So, oh, and what am I at now? Let me see. Did I open that? So over... So this is from yesterday because they don't update this until... This is not my live subscriber count, but they're the little graph. So according to this, I have 2,395 subscribers. And this graph is how many subscribers I get per day. So um, so I, I think I get what, like, looks like an average of maybe 10, 8 subscribers a day. Or, well, I don't know if it's an average with all those ones that are dipping low, but... But yeah, I didn't think that after a year I passed the 2,000 subscriber mark. I was just hoping to pass the 1,000 subscriber mark, but... But yes, I couldn't have gods in here without your support, so thank you very much. So I think that's enough of my thinking of <laughs> my talking about YouTube. I don't know what else I could talk about. Mm, let's see. So last weekend, I didn't really get to chat much because I, I did the um, real two videos of Kidding Down and that just takes all my brain power apparently kidding down so last weekend um so during the summer i don't know if i mentioned it on the channel i don't even know what i talk about sometimes um i like early summer um my fence kind of started falling um like falling to the point that i'm like oh man poor fence see that's the problem with um rainy weather is you know your fence could start rotting um easily so i had to um replace one i i'm i'm on like a corner so i have i have like a really long fence in the corner but i also have a fence in my back um the backyard and i don't have I, I don't have a, another house behind me because what's behind me is is um, what they call the green belt. It's like this section of land that they just kind of let grow with its natural um, trees and shrubberies and stuff. So the once my, my one side of my house is this green belt. So that's the fence that started falling down. I didn't, I was, I didn't really want to replace my other fence that is on my side yard because it was still fine. So I did have to replace the fence in the back. So, um, so I had, you know, I had someone do that because I, I can't construct a fence, but, um, they, when you, when I read up on like you're supposed to stain your fence, um, but you're not supposed to do it right away. Um, from everything I was reading, you're supposed to stain your fence. Um, the staining is to help um, put the waterproofing on it, but you're not supposed to stain your fence until at least one month after putting it up. And they say to do it sometime between one to six months after the fence has been put up. So. So you're supposed to stain the fence um, at least, but wait at least one month before you do it, so that it gives the wood time to um, to shrink because wood will shrink. The stuff that you buy from the store will shrink after some time, and and it also allows it to shrink, expand, shrink, expand, um, etc. So then I, so then I was like, okay, my plan was in August. I was going to do it in like August. And why didn't I do it in August? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> probably because I'm a procrastinator for things I don't really want to do. So I was not really looking forward to 
actually painting my fence or staining my fence. Um, so, so I kept postponing. I'm like, oh, it's too hot. I'll do it on a colder day, blah, blah, blah. And then fast forward to September and I was at, there was a point when I was thinking, okay, I have to do it in September because it's going to get too cold in October. And most of the paint says you're not supposed to paint, um, when it gets below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so I, I knew I had to do it in September, but you know what ended up happening? So it didn't rain for like forever where I am, um, for pretty much the whole summer, it didn't rain. So it was a very, very dry summer. So I was, I was thinking, oh, and I think though, I think my main excuse for not doing it in August is like, it's too hot. I don't want to do it when it's hot. I'd rather do it when it's overcast and cloudy. Um, and so then I told myself, okay, I'll just do it in September when it'll probably be colder. But the problem is it started raining in September. <laughs> and so then, uh, and then I, so then I was trying to find, I need like a three day window for my staining. Cause I need one day where it's drying. And then I need the one day where I'm painting it. And then I need the one day where it's, um, still when it's, well, no, wait, I need the one day after rain where the fence will dry. So I can't, so I, cause I can't put the stain on a wet fence. So, and then I also need the one day for me to actually paint it. And then I also need, after I paint it, I also need another day where it's not going to rain afterwards. So it'll allow the stain to dry. Um, so I found, I, I was, I, I was looking at the weather all of September and then I found a tiny window where it didn't rain for like three days. And so then I, that was last weekend. I actually took Thursday off. Um, Friday was already my day off, um, my normal day off. Um, but then Thursday, um, I took a vacation day, but that's fine. Do you know how many vacation days I have just because what were we doing last year? Um, but, um, so I took, I took Friday, I took Thursday off and I spent Thursday, um, preparing the fence. So letting it dry. And then I, um, kind of just made sure that there was no dirt on it. And then I also had, so the problem is I said I was, okay, so these might not fit three, seven, six, six on in the, and I don't think I'm going to have, I only have one extra, <laughs> which one has the most, this one has the most. So that will be the lucky one that gets two, just because it's just, it's just because it has the most three, seven, five, three. So, um, what was I saying? I need a label. This is going to be for the next kid up. Um, I already made the labels three, seven, five, three has the most. I was hoping they would all fit in here, but alas, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Um, so what was I saying? So, so I found that time where there was, oh, so, so Thursday I, um, I spent the time, um, prepping the fence. Um, and then I, there's like a jungle. So I told you the back of my fence is the green belt. Um, so I had to go to the other side of my fence, which is the green belt. And I, I pretty much had to, so it doesn't look like this is all going to fit. So I, I'm going to have some extra baggies. Um, I'm going to move this down there and I'm, I guess I'm going to just have to put that button on top. Um, so I have the green belt, um, behind my fence, but the problem is the, the green belt looks like they tried to put it in a smaller bag, but they couldn't fit it. So they put it into this bigger one. 
So the the green belt has these um, blackberry bushes growing like right on the other side of my fence. So I had to to go to the other side of my fence and and just pretty much just cut them down so that I when I was painting I wasn't gonna go um, get hit by the the blackberries. And blackberry bushes, let me tell you, are not friendly bushes. They have thorns. They're, they have things, extra dangly um, thorns, and they're just like... So yeah, no, that was, that was not fun, having to cut that down. But I have, I have like a, I don't know what you call it, a cutter. So let me see if I have drills. I think I'm going to be able to still close it. Let me see if I have drills and everything. Yep, it looks like I have drills and everything. So it looks like I'm going to have a lot of these colors. And these are like my favorite types of colors. So, so yeah. Let me put that in there. And I was going to kit up this one next. And that's just going to be... I'm just going to use this. There, there was no DMC, so I didn't bother scanning the legend, so I just made my own labels. Um, so, let's see. Number one. Ah. Where's number one? So yeah, I spent I spent that day um, that first day battling blackberry bushes, um, cleaning the fence, um, and whatnot. And then the and then the second day, um, that's when I painted the fence. That was a long day, and <laughs> let me tell you, I am not apparently. So, so painting a fence requires you to do a lot of squats, I guess, um, because, you know, you have to squat down to the bottom. Um, and apparently I, I am so out of shape in squats that it, it, my, my legs burned the next day. Like on the day of, I, I was like, oh yeah, I could do this. Um. It was just a very long day. Luckily, it wasn't that hot that day. So it was a cloudy day, even though it wasn't raining. Um, so the temperature was perfect that I wasn't getting overheated. But let me let me tell you, there was just so much squatting that day that the next um, two, I, no, I think it was like the next two, two or three days, my legs were feeling it. I was like, wow, I'm so out of shape that my legs are just like just from painting the fence just all the squatting was just making my legs burn i think it was all that lactic acid build up so so but yeah i was able to paint the fence it didn't rain the next day but it rained the following day so i had my little finite window of the fence painting but that was uh, that was a long that was that was a long, like I did the paint fence, um, fencing of the pair, uh, the painting on on this Friday, and let me tell you, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> I think that's why I decided to do the two kidding ups, is because I, I was I, I think I would have had like no will to do a conversation last weekend when I was recording, so that's why I did the two kid ups because I was, it was just kind of mind numbing. Um, busy work that I didn't have to be chatty for because I think I was just so tired that um <laughs> I was like you know what I'm just going I'm just going to kick down it it's a little bit of oh wait I have more seven so let's see if they'll fit in here I didn't realize I had two sevens wait let me make sure seven is the beige color. Yeah, seven is the beige color. Um, so 
So yeah, that's why I did the two kidding downs or the two kidding down videos last week because I was just so tired from the from the fence the fence painting that I just didn't think I had had it in me to do a chatty video, so I did the more. Yeah, no, this is not gonna fit. I'm just gonna put it into the next one. There's no reason. I don't think I'm gonna run out of containers, so. Let me take this eight out, put it into the next one. Hopefully this is not so removable that it'll start peeling off. Oh man, this is why I need a second trace. I think someone even told me that you should have a second tray, a second tray over your big tray. So for times like that, but I mean, how, how often do I, Pour it out on the wrong tray. I mean, in pour it outside of the tray. So yeah, last last weekend I was super tired. <laughs> but I just had that, like I said, I had that finite day, and I did both sides of the fence. So I think I nine. I'm gonna need two. Okay, so ten has two bags. Um, And I contemplated just doing one kidding up today, um, but I was I was like, yeah, let's just do two. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear it, but right now my computer is right next to me, and I'm um, editing a video right now. So my computer is making a mm sound. Um, so I'm multitasking, editing my video while recording another video. Um, so yeah, the reason I was contemplating, is this number 10? This is number 10. The reason I was contemplating just kidding up one video is because my Friday video will be a very, very long video. I, yeah, very long, super long. I think my longest video ever that I have ever made um, <laughs> feature length films length. It was, it was at the point that I, 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 I just didn't really want to stop and then make it a vi video number two. So I just kept going. Um, so yeah, Monday's video or it's Friday's video is going to be a long one. So then I thought with Friday's video being a long one, maybe I should just do a short one today, but, but no, apparently I don't know how to make short videos anymore. <laughs> so too bad this, this, this kit doesn't have, um, DMC numbers. But I figure if I'm ever going to make the effort to match up my DMC list, um, DMC list drills to my chart, I would do it for squares because, um, because I have a use for my leftover squares. My rounds, I don't know. I have yet to try to do a match my round drills. I still kept them, so they're in baggies just in a bag um but i have yet to um to do a let's match up my my drills to the dmc chart thing so i figured if i were going to make that effort it would be for a square because my squares i do use for my um cross stitch pattern so do i have enough so i have eight one no I don't have enough. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have enough. So this D, I think I'm gonna just put into a baggie. Just do I have any other ones that are gonna Oh wait, there's an A B in this one. So wait, let me put that into 
here. So there is one AB. Um, so I think I'm gonna kit up backwards and then and then um, probably put D away in a baggie just because that's probably the easiest one. So kit up backwards. I was hoping it would all fit because normally these smaller diamond paintings will fit in here and I didn't have that many colors. So, but I, apparently I used too many. Um, or maybe because this is a square, um, there are more drills in a square diamond painting. So um, maybe it just takes up more space. So. So what was I saying? That I don't, I don't know how to make short videos anymore. I was planning to also talk about the... I was tagged by Claire. Um, Diamond Painting Claire. She has her own channel. I was tagged by her to answer those questions, but I was not, I'm not really prepared for it right now since I was also editing my video at the same time as this recording so my computer is being in use when when you're editing a video it just sucks up all the computer um memory and i guess um processing power so i don't really like doing anything while it's going on so that's why it's that's why i figured this is the perfect time for me to have a video not editing a video but like after you edit a video it you have it you have to get processed into the final video, um, so that's what I was doing while doing this kit up, and I figured that's the best time to do it because I'm not using my computer because I'm recording. Um, please fit, please fit. Mainly because I want it to fit because I don't I don't have any more extra space. So it's gonna, I'm gonna make it fit, hopefully. So that'll be fine after I do the first one where I take it out first. 17. Oh. So yeah, I was I was planning to do my kidding up and answer the the tag question things, but no. I'll do it next week. Um, and I don't know who else hasn't been tagged because I haven't been following the tagging. Um, I'm a very bad YouTuber. Um, well, I think what ended up happening is ever since I started my like ever since I started my channel, I just haven't had the time anymore to watch other folks YouTube um, and or not necessarily I've just gotten so I got really into watching <laughs> on net on not not I think it was Hulu it was it ran a random anime that just popped up on my feed and I never saw it so I, I started watching it it was um, my hero Academia for whatever reason I got so into it that I pretty much binge watched continuously all the I don't know 80 something episodes they have um, so I'm gonna go and get a small baggie and write this one is also D oops wrong pen And just put this in a baggie while so I could fill up that other one I guess there was just too many with multiple so then I could put this 14 in here 
I figured that was the easiest one to do, then I would have probably thought of just doing this one instead. But then I would require me to move all my other ones and that's just too much effort. So yeah, now I got so into watching <laughs> an anime that I just kept- I seriously kept watching it. <laughs> so there it is. It's done. Um, I do unfortunately have this separate bag with the extra drills. I'll just squish that in there. Apparently both of these were too too many drills to fit into the containers. So so yeah, there is everything kitted up. So I'm thinking I'm thinking I should change my outro for after being a year old, but I think I'm gonna totally forget to say it. But um, but thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you watched, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. But that's all I have for today, so thank you for watching, and happy diamond painting. Bye!